Morozo looking calm. A little bit of life came back. Round number four. Blast inside, so close. Welcome back, you dead set legends, as we are going to get into match number three. This is for the number one left arm spot in the world. We have the two best left arm pullers here. We have an unpolished diamond in Artem Morozov. His potential is unmeasurable. We don't know how far into the arm wrestling stratosphere this man can be. But then, of course, the Arminian assassin, the anchor that just doesn't want to let Artem go too far, and that is David Dadakian. These two are going to go head-to-head -head in a left-arm battle for the number one spot in the world. There we go. This is what it's happening for the number one left-arm spot in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, your first combatant. Your first juggernaut, it is the Arminian assassin, the human wrecking machine, David Dadakian. David Dadakian from Armenia. One of the most impressive pullers on the planet right now. A lot of aggression, a lot of commitment. His hook. I think he's on his way to make his hook legendary. We're going to see him face versus Artem Morozo. He knows the challenge. He's coming in as the smaller man. But like we saw one match ago, size might not matter. He is here to make a statement. His training partner, Denis Siplenko, thinks he's more than ready. He wants to be the best. He knows exactly how strong he needs to be to be the best. So... I expect a war. 24 years old, 185 centimeters, 114 kilograms. A lot of aggression, a lot of commitment. Strong as F. David Dadikian. And his opponent. All the way from Kazakhstan, this is the Terminator, Artyom Morozov. And look for this man to make an entrance. This is a genuine giant of a man standing at six foot five inches tall. At 24 years old, Artyom Morozov of Kazakhstan is the current number one left arm arm wrestler in the world and he is here to defend that position today he is the stronger man the taller man the bigger man in every respect this is his match to take control of look for the power of this man who has defeated the likes of koji spare merit with ease artem yorozov ladies and gentlemen from kazakhstan making his way very stoically at 24 years old standing six foot four 132 kilos, 53 centimeter bicep, and 47 centimeter forearm. This man is the most promising thing in arm wrestling. Hey, he's so impressive. He's just, I see him every time. I think he's getting bigger. And every time he competes, he is better. I don't know how that works out with him, but it is just how it is. Both of them, just 24 years old. And at 24 years old, ranked number one on the planet. <laughs> yeah, both these guys, truly phenomenal prospects for the sport, for the future of the sport. At such an age to be where they're at already is so ridiculously impressive. Now, both of these guys, you can see their demeanor as they're approaching. Very calm, very controlled. No one is, no one is I, I, overlooking I think we will situation. see a lot of aggression, as they say, ready, go. 
Yes. But till then, there's a lot of respect between them. Calm before the storm. Yeah. Look for the speed of the initiation into the hook from David Dadakani. You can see him there testing out the lane. Morozov looking calm, controlled. Looking at the referee, waiting for that stop. He's going to use his back pressure and pronation to try to defend against the threat. He might get sucked in the hook. Dadekan. He's taking the risk of blocking the hook with an attempted top roll. Yeah. Low hand top roll from Morozov. Turn it out. Referee getting them set. Turn out. Wrist. Boom. Good start Get there. Your side. Oh my oh goodness, my that is a pin. David Dedekian with the. Wow, <laughs> ow. Don't sleep on David Dedekian. My goodness, David Dedekian with a decisive opening round there, taking wow. the victory to shake the head there from Morozov. You can see that he attempted to block the hook. Yeah, with I, I think top he has to meet him inside. He's got it now. He's got to yeah. step straight into the fire. Until, until there's so much speed and zero fatigue on that arm, you cannot try to run away from it. Yeah, Morozov there caught out of position. He was denied the top roll, and it left him in an in a open, open position for the hook. And you can see there wow. the side pressure and the drive from David Dadakian. Very impressive. One to zero. The man, the, the smaller man in control. Let's see if we can get a war from this one. Unbelievable stuff there. Now, Morozov's going to need to make some adjustments. We can, as we said, right, we can expect him to just straight away recognize that he's not able to block the, the hook. He's got to go straight into that fire, fight at power and power. He's still going to be the slower man there, so he's going to be defending when he gets into this hook. But that's where his domain is, the power. But this time he was totally out of position. His hand, arm was under. David's arm, and he wasn't in a good spot to fight from it. So now I think he will attempt to meet him, get the center, get the hand control, get the pronator control. That's most important in this one. I think whoever takes the pronator control, because both of them have a lot of side pressure. Absolutely. We, we see round two. Morozov stepping to the table now. You can see he's still composed, still thinking about what he needs to get done in this job. Uh, as his opponent now steps back up to the table, he'll be happy with where he's at. He'll look to do the same thing once again. He'll look to really lightly load. There's not a lot of threat other than static threat from David Dedekan and then explode off the go. Be the faster man, get into position earlier, and then control with side pressure. A lot of people kind of rode down David because he's a much smaller man. But winning Oleg Jok is a really hard task, and he did it brutally. So he's clearly formidable foe. Interestingly, look at the setup there. Morozov once again with a low hand wrist position. Will he transition to the hook from there? He still fears going straight into the hook, it would, it would seem. He's, yeah, he's doing the same thing once again. Turn it out for me. Relax. Turn. Turn. Waiting for the ref's call. Full shoulder and the top wins. roll this time from David Dedekan getting wow. the, the pin. There it is. Wow. Did we get an elbow foul call that the referee is consulting with each other? We may yeah. have, we have a runner. Refer we'll wait for the call. But either way, David Dedekan taking control of the hand of wrist wow. this time. Wow. <laughs> Morozov looked for the defense once again, the block. And Dedekan read it perfectly. This time, the block may have been there on the hook, but David Dedekan showing his diversity. He goes the other way. Top rolls out of Morozov. Referees are looking at the replay just to figure out if there was infringement on the rules. Was there a running foul for our thing from David? Let's see. Now, ladies What's and gentlemen, depending on where this one goes, I am going to make a departure from this commentary box soon because I am the next match up and I need to get warmed up. <laughs> so I'm. Ryan, fact, Ryan just now got really nervous. <laughs> just now got really nervous. David no problem, going through too quickly here, but ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you with the capable hands of Coach Ray to call yeah. this match. No problem. And I'll see you on the table. Oh, yeah. So we are still in round number two. We're trying to figure out what the referees saw in that match. Looking good at the... Mm -hmm. mm. The camera's a little bit obstructed, so you don't see very good view. 
I'm trying to. I'm trying to see something here behind the scenes. But that was really impressive. David Dadikian, not only inside but also outside, dominating this match. This is not turning out how Artyom Morozov wanted this to be. David coming in strong, fast, deadly. Referees are still consulting, still watching. I think it's a little bit obstructed view, so they don't see everything clearly. And they want to make the right calls for the athletes. It's a big match. The whole world is watching. The whole Armisen world is watching. We need to make right calls and be fair to the athletes. Was there a running foul or... Or David Dadikian is the winner of this round, round number two, and makes the score 2-0. We will, we will see. Yeah, I'm watching it from different angles myself, and very hard to see where, where, the elbow did it fly up. I think the elbow came off the pad, and that was the thing that referee saw either way so impressive David Adikan coming up coming to the king of the table and pretty much shocking the whole armistice world I expected this to be close but I didn't expect him to dominate as he's doing right now there's still maybe four, maybe five rounds to go, and there's still a chance for this to be turned around to mate in a dogfight. Let's see, can Morozov do that? Referees are still watching. I think there must might be David's elbow coming off the pad, but I don't know if the referees can see it where I'm seeing it. Are they putting it on the screen? So we already had a lot of interesting things. Khaled defeating Schoolboy tonight. And now, Artem Morozo, clear favorite, has been put to a test and maybe is put in the most difficult position. Not only he might lose this match, he might even lose world ranking to David Dadikian. Both athletes, as you said, 24 years old. Bigger guy, of course, about 20 kilos heavier is Morozo. Referee just got here, so now they're trying to figure it out on different screens and watch it. Oh, okay, so you all see it as well as I do. Let's take a look at this and see where Dadikian's elbow goes. Does it go over or not? This long pause, I think it kind of helps Morozo a little bit to collect his thoughts, get in positions where he, is, he can contest David's power. For David, he's been on a roll and this kind of burns his flame a little bit. Might be a jump at the start, no. Maybe right now. I think... Let's see what the referees will say to this one. We're going back. Let's see what is the verdict from referees. We see Artyom Morozov a little bit looking not really happy today. Well, there's nothing to be happy about right now. Elbow foul. Elbow foul for David Dadikian. We are still on round number two. One zero. David is in favor of this match. He 
top rolled Morozo, but his elbow came off the pad. Still 1-0. Right now, we go back to round number two. One elbow foul on David Dadikian. We see Morozo a little bit out of it. Usually he's full of energy, focused. But of course, it's never good to be on a losing side. A side is always the best side to be on. But B side always tests you. Let's see what can he do when he's tested. David Dedikian just looking incredibly good today. Same setup. David, at this point, from this position, can access top roll and can access hook if he wants to. If Artyom gives up his low hand or kind of tries to low hand, if he thinks David will hook him, it's a good choice. But if David chooses up, and I feel like he will top roll right now. No, he hooks. They end up in a hook. Wrist is close, and he pins him. Wow. I would love to see more commitment to a hook from Morozo. 2-0. David Dadikian is in control. Shocking the world. King of a table five. Um, yeah. Another, I think today is a lot of matches and some upsets that we really didn't think we we're going to see. And there might be another big one. After this match, it's Khaled versus Ryan Bowen. And uh, Khaled pretty much did what he said he's going to do in all of his interviews and everything. And he might take Ryan down. That would be one of the most impressive things <laughs> I have ever seen especially considering everything. So, round number three, David Adikian in cruise control. Dominates if needed, goes inside, outside, pretty much is, is in total control. We can see a lot of emotions from Morozo. He's not looking confident. He's, he's, he needs to pull this together. He needs to forget about first two rounds. He just needs to focus on round number three. You're are in this situation whatever you're doing is not working you have to switch it up as we see those arms he's huge he's massive he's the terminator but david adikian is just a bullet let's go back to the table for round number three Morozo versus Dadikian. Morozo in a situation where many didn't think he will be. Dadikian in a comfortable lead, two to nothing. Will we see something getting switched up for Morozo? I think the best option at this point, if he's not injured, to go inside, but maybe there's some there's something why he is not doing that let's see of the setup still looks like a top roll setup it's a lot of back pressure low hand Artyom Morozov has been very hand dominant arm wrestler his wrist flexion has been just incredible but this time it's not enough. You need side pressure, back pressure. Referee's grip. David Dadikian completely focused on the task ahead. Win two more rounds from Artyom Morozo. Become the number one ranked harmester with a left arm on the planet. Ready, go! Top roll from David Dadikian takes full control, dominates. Wow. Arto Morozo is running out of options and he's running out of rounds. Three, nothing. He's in com he, he, he's, he just cannot get anything going. David Dadikian is so strong, he dominates the center of the table every time. 
in both styles. I know him as an impressive inside puller, but we see a great top roll from him today. Let's see what he does on round number four. I'm making eye contact with Jake, and Jake's like, wow, <laughs> we, we didn't expect this to happen. I think the world didn't expect this to happen. But as I said, David has a great insight on how strong you need to be to be the best left hand on the planet, and maybe the best right hand on the planet. He trains together with Denis Siplenko. Denis is also here supporting him. I feel like this this round, let's see if Morozo switches something up. It's been the same setup all the time. It's been same low hand top roll. David Dadikian in full control, needs one more and takes this home. I'll be very interested to learn from Artyom. Did he underestimate David? Because he always comes in shape, and I think he's in a great shape. Like every time I see him, he's better. David just looked invincible versus Oleg Jok and looking the same versus Artyom Morozo. He's about 15 kilos bigger when he faced right now than he faced Oleg Jok. They were arm wrestling at 100 kilos he was cutting a lot of weight and he said he doesn't want to do that anymore he's ready to fight with everyone and i remember everyone's like even morozo he said especially morozo round number four a little better from morozo david dadikian Still has everything purchased, and we see straps. We see first straps. It's finally something going on from Artyom Morozo. He found something. Maybe David lost a little bit of his speed, lost the start of this round. Either way, we are in an arm wrestling match. David Adikian, Artyom Morozo, we go to the straps for round number four. David in a lead, three to nothing. I'm just trying to listen what the, <laughs> what the corner is saying to get him out of his shoulder line that was the advice that's a great advice because David has been dominating the center all the time there's not much fighting for the grip not much things in the setup both of them have really strong hand and I think at this point, Morozo's strong wrist flexion doesn't really help because he's helping David to turn himself in. It was better to stay flat like he did in this round. Let's see. Let's see if anything changes. Buckle will be on David's hand, so it's better chances for Artyom Morozo to get his top roll going and kind of a little bit drain out. He was in good position where he kind of contested David's hand, where he was almost opening up. He was putting so much pressure that they eventually slipped out. Strap is coming on. Round number four. This is it. There's, there's no mistakes from Artyom. If Artyom makes any mistakes, it's done. He just lost number one position. He lost this match. David Dadikian is your winner. But... It's not over until it's over. Let's see which athlete the strap favors. Feel like David's David has so much options from position how he sets up. He can hook and he can top roll pretty efficiently on the same way. I think at this point he might better go inside than outside because you can kind of lose your hand if you don't want to. They're going to put the strap one more time. I think David was in very uncomfortable position. 
he came in really fast maybe he's getting a little bit too pumped still calm and collected we saw a little bit of life coming back to Morozo he's waiting on table he is ready a lot of times we will see guys that are super explosive with a lot of horsepower they will come really fast really quick but endurance is not their best part let's see if David can just hold it on for one more round Jake right here in the audience trying to turn everything one up. Everyone at this point Close is very shocked about what is going on, especially seeing in person. As impressive David is looking, Morozo is one of the most impressive humans on the planet. He really looks like a Terminator. Let's see who the strap favors, who will get a better position. Looks like Morozo is pretty comfortable with this but for David it might be even easier to commit to his to inside it. game let's see what he chooses he has both options he just have to choose the right one I think I think the inside inside would work better last time he tried a little bit outside Morozo stopped him and they ended up in a stalemate round number four might be the one. King of table five, Morozov, Dadikian. Center, no. One foul for David Dadikian. For moving in referee's grip. He's getting a little bit more uncomfortable. He needs to hold it together. He needs to execute everything for this one last round. Sometimes you feel when it starts to slip away, he needs to hold it together. Morozo looking calm, a little bit of life came back. Round number four. Blast inside, so close, so close, so close, so close, so close. So close, so close. Can't finish it, can't finish it, wow! So close to the pad. Morozo's coming back. Full press from David Dadikian. Hand is compromised. Da Morozo's taking the top row, trying to finish the match. Needs to keep it together. Can bleed out David Dadikian in good position and finishes it. Wow. Wow. 3 to 1. Oh, elbow foul for Morozo. No, no, no. 3 2 3-0, elbow foul for Morozo. We are still in round number four. This is insane. We are having an arm wrestling match. As I said, endurance is a big factor. Endurance, I can see Jake right there. Jake is so happy, he wants to see a war. And of course, war is what he gets. Wow, we can see David Dadikian is a bullet, but bullets, when you shoot through the water, kind of gets slowed down. It feels like it's going like that. <laughs> David Dadikian is getting a little bit tired. He was so close to pinning Artyom Morozo. He held on for his dear life, didn't reach the pin pad. Wow. Still round number four. Still, if he executed perfectly, both of the guys got tired. David just might lost his hand. His pronator looks blown up. We got a lot. We got to ask the guys back to the table. What is going on? What is going on? Okay. One elbow foul for each of the athletes. Morozo is looking a little bit more lively, coming back to life. But still, scoreboard shows zero. He needs to put wins. He needs to put pins on the pads. That's what he needs to do. He needs to win 
round four, five, six, and then the silver bullet round if he wants to win this super match, which is a very hard task to ask. Wow, we are in an arm wrestling match, ladies and gentlemen. He did a similar thing to Dave Chafee with his right arm, where he was two rounds behind, and then out of nowhere with his endurance, with his commitment, Wow. It's still the same round. It's still same round. Three, nothing. Elbow foul. Wow. You guys can, will take the whole compilation of me saying wow. Wow. David Adikian, we see him getting tired. I can see it in him. He's getting tired, he's getting pumped. Morozov feeds off of that, is coming in and really wants to finish this, really wants to get in position where he can come back from unfortunate situation. No There's a little bit, little bit of uh, miscommunication between referees and Morozo. Morozo doesn't speak uh, good English or pretty much any English, but he sings English. I have seen him. Okay, guys, we're going back. Strap is going to get applied. I think Tim is giving. I, I think Tim feels the, the, the weight of this match on his shoulder, and he's giving. Both guys enough time to a little bit recover to come back from this total war they had. Which I, at this point, I don't think it favors David. The longer the match goes, better Morozov starts looking. I think David will be fully committed in this round just to blast inside, just to try to pin him, just to everything he can, everything he can. Let's see how much his wrist has suffered, how much, how much energy he has left. He was so close to pinning, and I think he will just go 110%, even more if needed. What is going on? Yeah, that's okay. Here we go. Come on, guys. Tim is too nice. Tim, Tim, Tim needs Someone to stop being too foul. nice. He just gives too much time okay, for right you guys. There. It's like five minutes between this round. The strap is going to get applied. I think strap favors Morozo, even though. Da David can still blast inside a little bit better, but it helped Morozov for for keeping control, for keeping connection. Open up. Wow, this this is turning out to be an amazing event, exactly like we expected. We saw Schoolboy versus Khaled. We see a domination of Irakli Zirakashvili. Now we see David versus open Artyom. Up. Ryan Bowen, hey, Khaled is next. David is saying that it's too much, too hard, pulling down on the strap from Tilt Listen, no, we're right here in the center. No, this is not moving. You move again, it's a foul. Feel it's Don't move. Center, center looks center. good. Center, center looks center, good. Center, center. No, no, no. Believe fingers no. Foul. Second foul. That's two fouls. Two fouls for David Dadikian. Here we go. David trying to. He feels Double like down. the center is too much on Morozo's side. He's fighting for it. He's fighting with everything he has. He wants to win this. <laughs> that was a great trick. Just put a little bit of chalk on your opponent's arm Don't move. for better connection. Morozov's like, yeah, fine. Max. Yeah, cool. Don't move. 
back. At least they have chalk this time. Back. David Artyom. Expect full commitment from David Tadikian. He just needs to win this one. My fingers, my fingers. Few seconds, few seconds. And Morozo takes control, takes control. Will bleed him out a little bit more. Longer David holds on. Wow. I got a feeling someone's gonna turn this around. Some would say Morozo might pull off Coach Ray. We'll see. We'll see. Three, one. Artyom Morozo is back in the game. Let's see where the next matches will go. How much energy David Adikian still has. I'm, I'm trying to listen. We can see full control, bleeds him out a little bit more, takes the hand, and he knows. For David Adikian, he doesn't really flop wrist press. He needs that hand to get access to the hook, to the top roll. This is why. This is why. That's a very smart arm wrestling for Marcio Morozo. I think he got extremely lucky in round number three when he fought it for that position to keep his wrist from being under the pin pad. Wow. This is really impressive arm wrestling. Let's see where the next round goes. Round number five. I feel like it's silver bullet time. Yeah. In words of Neil Pickup, I would say Iron Dick. We can see Morozo. Okay. <laughs> He's happy. He's like, yes, I'm back. I feel I have this in the bag. I, I think we're going to see seven rounds of this. If David Dadikian pulls something off and finishes this match quickly, I'll be very impressed. But he's, I'm, I'm just looking at him. He's getting tired. He's really pumped. One thing you really need for every super match is... I think this is probably one of the best matches we have ever seen. Especially from domination from one side. And then coming back with that impressive pulling in round number four. Kind of gives me shade of um, King of Table 1. Well, who was involved in that? <laughs> David Dadikian is back on the table. Artyom Morozo, I can see, feel the confidence coming from him. David Adikian just needs one pin to finish this job. He just needs one. Let's see how much he has in him. I feel like, I, I feel a little bit sorry for Ryan. He just went away. He got, he's like two rounds. He's like, oh, I have to go. You, you keep commentating this. And now he's missing all the fun. I think he's getting really, really nervous in the background. We'll see him later. No worries. Ryan will be back on the table and in the commentary booth as well. Wow. We see the confidence from Morozo. We see energy slowly coming away from David Dadikian. Let's see if he still can pull off his hook. I feel the hook will be the answer. How much energy he has left. Yeah, see it. See it. Turn around, turn out, center, center, turn it out. We're in the center. Wrist, good. No, no, no. Ooh, yes. One I feel point. like Morozo has yeah. good hand control. Center. David needs to commit 110%. Center. He center. needs, center. if he wants to win. Center, center. Center. No. I get there. I got this. Yes, yes. I got it. I don't think David Yo, David tries guys, to make it a little bit longer. I don't think he I think it would be faster for him. Longer it goes, more pumped he will get. One thing you absolutely need in a six Lachel, round super match is, is endurance Lachel. to sustain your energy Lachel. for six rounds, especially Lachel, Lachel, Lachel. when you've been put in a compromised position. Three one, round number five. Grab Referee's grip. David. 
we see David Adikian, he doesn't really want to come to the table. He's taking his time. He's very, he's very tired. Yeah, yeah, right here. Yes, you I think it's a terrible feeling when you're three to one or three rounds ahead, you just need one and you just can find the power to finish it. Now it is in a bad position right now. Morozo looking looking better every round, coming back to life. Feels like he's not tired at all. He just woke up, made this match where he wants it to go. But David Adikian is so impressive. Those first three rounds, he absolutely dominated. If this was a different promotion and it wasn't six rounds, David Adikian would be your winner. But this is king of the table, six rounds. Trying to escape. Morozo trying to hold on, make it a little bit more tiring on David Here we go. Here we go. strap is gonna get applied this time on Morozo's side his hand will have the buckle he will be pulled down a little bit more but I don't think it will matter he's looked very calm very collected I think he has more more power not only in the hand but also in, in, in his arm left in him after first four rounds I'm still listening to the corner of Artyom Morozo. There's some advice, just get out of his shoulder. Make sure his shoulder line is broke. Break that shoulder line. That is the advice. And it's a good advice. Because if you get that, you can allow him to get behind his shoulder, get his arm inside. He is really good there. Don't move from there, right there. Do not move. Open. So we have a strap. I think David said that his wrist is hurting, and Morozo was like, "My wrist is hurting too." And there were some curse words involved that I cannot say. I'm not. It's past my bedtime. Round number five. There is a huge potential for silver bullet match. Oh, oh, oh. I got it, I got it. No. Oh, that way. Yeah. Oh. There? You good? Yes. Okay. Open up. Cover. Yes. Cover. Referee's no, grip. No. Open. Yes. Full okay. low hand top roll from okay. Artyom Morozo. Right. He knows exactly what yeah, is the winning yeah, strategy for this Do one. David Adikian just wants a little bit more purchase on his Open wrist, up. but just from this position, you can see where Morozo's wrist is compared to David Adikian's. David is very low. Even if he gets a little bit his arm inside Morozo's arm, he's still going to get out of his shoulder line if he cannot fully commit. No center, no center. Go! David tries to commit, tries to commit, good, good position on Morozo, he feels he has more back pressure than David has side pressure, bleeds that hand, tr climbs as high as he can, David is in a good position, good position, but can, can Morozo, very close to the pin pad, just cannot reach it. Will he go inside and tries to finish with a press? David is in a good position, getting his shoulder behind, getting deep on that wrist. Morozo hits, but hits a wall. Climbs. No one of either of the athletes are not holding on. And Morozo finishes with a press. 3-2, 3-2, three, two, three, two. we're going to go in round number six. Okay, oh, I'm going to take it off slowly. Don't move. David Dadikan might get injured. Let's see if he's still, if it's still possible to pull. Let's follow the athletes and see what they are talking. I would love to hear what David Dadikan corner is saying. I don't know.
good, good transition to a press. David did everything he could to try to hold on, to try to fight. Oh, we can see something happen there. What's going on with David's corner? I would love to hear from David what he's saying. Morozov said he cannot take the center. He feels some pain trying to win the side pressure battle. David Dadikian walking around drinking water, his arm looking blown up. He's right right next to me pretty much. Let's see how much he has left. Both men are really redlining on this one. Going as hard as they can, doing everything in their power to win this match. Artur Morozo doing some squats. He's doing his leg day. He again, like I said before, every armister has a leg day once a year. Turns out it's today. It's October one for Artyom Morozov. He just got his reps in. He said, "Okay, now I can armister." Let's see if David Dadikian is able to go back to the table, and we hope he's not injured. He's giving everything he has in this match. Один раз и все. Он устает, он устает, и ничего, у тебя ничего нет. Просто понимаешь? We have paramedics right here, just checking if everything's fine. I think everything is fine. Tim Talmadge will call the athletes back to the table. Tim is experienced referee. He knows exactly, and also a competitor. He knows exactly how much this is impacting both athletes. How hard this match is they will be what i call beyond sore they're sore and then there's beyond sore that is that he can both arms are looking like they're gonna explode they're ready to get on table round number six Artur Morozov is back on the arm wrestling table. We can see in your screens right now. David Dadikian. His facial expression says it all. It's really hard to be in a really deep matches, and he's experiencing pretty much the deepest match, I think, in his arm wrestling career. It's a total war on table. Round four, round five has just been amazing. We go to round number six, 3-2. David Dadikian is still in the lead. He needs to win just one round. He wins this round, it's over. He is the winner. He won Artur Morozov in a true war. If Artur Morozov wins this match, we go to the silver bullet. Lovely darts. I would say something crazy, but I think the craziness is already on the table. David Dadikian, Artyom Moroso. Hey, everyone who purchased the pay-per-view, thank you, and hey, you're welcome also. <laughs> King of the table delivers. Like, I don't know. It's like, I think two hours in, it's like two hours in, and this is what we're seeing? Damn it. I think this is the best card they have ever had, pretty much. And I think the chaos will follow Khaled, and Ryan Bowen will follow after next, after this match. And then it's the main event, Vitali versus Dave. Anything can happen. Six rounds, arm wrestling is different arm wrestling, as we see right here. David Dadikian, Artyom Morozov. 
David came so close to the victory in that round number four. Morozo pulled through and won. Same setup from both guys. Rest here. Go! Fully blocks David from trying to escape. Pins him. Three, three. We're going to the silver bullet round. Three, three. One more round. I think the guys think it's over, but they have to pull one more. Yeah, we, we need to tell them they have to pull one more. I think they thought it's just six rounds. Yeah, so round number seven. We got to go into round number seven. It's 3-3. Three, three. Someone needs to win this. There's one more round. 3-3 three, or 4-3? Three? 3-3. Three, three. Three, three. One more round. One more round. I think second time in King of the Table history when we see a silver bullet. Full control from Artyom Morozov. David tried to escape, just couldn't. He's so tired. I'm looking at him. He's having, it went from having the best day of his life to probably one of the worst. But, hey, he's a true warrior. He's right there at the top of the flight of the left-hand rankings. Two, two first round, first, second round. <laughs> Yeah, what we hear from Artyom Morozov. I think he said it in English. Or what, want, what, he, he said what that he's a very uncomfortable what opponent. When he calls your name. Okay. Okay. Are we done? Are they not going to pull round number seven? It's It's... It's a little bit confusion for us right here. Okay, so I just got information. It's official draw. They will not pull round number seven. This match is a draw. Three first rounds goes to David Dadikan. Three rounds goes to Artyom Morozo. Wow. Okay, so uh, due to an unfortunate injury, because we were gagging for a silver bullet, but we're unfortunately not going to get it. So, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the Terminator, Adam Morozov. <laughs> Mate. You love entertaining the crowd. Why don't you like winning any rounds in the first three? Uh, видно, что ты любишь развлечь толпу. Uh, скажи, почему ты сразу не начал действовать так, как ты действовал последние раунды? Всем салам алейкум. Короче, почему... В первых раундах, в раундах не получилось. Да потому что болит, и Давид очень сильный был. А потом я чуть-чуть начал хитрить, и у меня начало получаться. Но у нас этот, в Казахстане, не, не обманешь, не проживешь. Но говорят по-другому, я просто смягчил. So I couldn't finish it right from the beginning, because uh, my hand is also hurt much. Uh, and uh, David is a very strong guy. And then I started to become smart and sneaky and using some extra things which I had in my techniques. So where was the turning point of the match? You're down 3-0. Most people crumble like biscuits, but you came in strong and we were going to a silver bullet and you were looking strong. So where was the turning point of the match when you thought and you knew you had David's number? Что, как ты думаешь, сыграло в матче, и что было точкой невозврата, когда ты почувствовал, что матч уже в твоих руках? Когда уже в первом, втором, нет, точнее, первый раунд я очень быстро проиграл. Во втором и третьем она хрустнула, и я подумал, что сгорел сарай, гори и хата, решил вот на обум, короче, бороться. Как есть, все, что есть, отдавал, и все. Так и получил. А что вы меня вообще спрашиваете? Ну, вообще-то ничья у нас, я не победил. Why are you actually asking me? We have a draw, in my opinion. 
Yeah, um, first round I gave it fast, uh, second as well, then kind of a, in the middle of the third match, uh, I heard a click in the hand and I thought that something is happening and I just gave it uh, full power, 100%. I definitely uh, feel a rematch coming from these two titans. It's going to be officially your winner, Artem Morozov. Give him a round of applause, everybody. <laughs> David Dutton, David, come here, my friend. I think there are no losers in this match. You came out strong and you took this guy the first three rounds. How confident, come up here, David, come up here. How confident were you feeling after the first three rounds? Давид, сложно сказать, что ты проиграл этот матч. Скажи, как ты чувствовал себя первые три раунда? Да, чувствовал себя нормально. Все было хорошо. Просто Артем оказался выносливый. Я устал уже. Да, Артем красавчик. Просто вот схитрил и поменял исход поединка. И вот так получилось. Uh, you know, is a great athlete. I felt myself great first three rounds, and then uh, he just got more endurance than me, and uh, he got he's smarter than me uh, in this arm fight. And it is what it is. Yeah, he got it. Oh, you're a definite superstar, David. Can you just let everyone know what's the injury? What did you feel? Where's the pain coming from? Uh, можешь ли ты поделиться по твоим ощущениям, что это за травма, что ты чувствуешь, где у тебя болит? <laughs> ну, просто во время борьбы немножко хрустнуло, когда Артем зашел в трицепс. Пока что непонятно, рука горячая. Завтра будет еще ну, видно, если там будет какие-то там травмы. Надо просто залечить, ну и все. Uh, I can't tell you truly for the moment what is the injury exactly. It's just I felt it when Artom went tricep. Uh, I just heard the click and uh, can't tell you right now. The hand is still on fire. Uh, it's warm and uh, we'll see tomorrow. Yeah, just needs to recover. Well, we wish you all the best in recovery. A genuine superstar, never say die attitude. Ladies and gentlemen, David Dadakhan. Я просто хотел добавить и сказать пару слов. Спасибо организаторам в целом. Хороший турнир. Хочу отдельно поблагодарить моего друга Бабкена. Он меня поддерживает, помогает сильно. Также Дениса Цыпленкова. У нас хорошая большая команда. Мы делаем одно общее дело. Слава Богу, то, что так получилось, значит, это была воля Бога. И будем дальнейшее готовиться, радовать. Спасибо всем большое, кто болел за меня. Uh, вот и все, дальше будет больше, на этом не останавливаемся. Just wanted to add some words of thank, thanks um, to God, to my team, uh, Babken and Denis Ziplinkov, to the organization, of course, for this great tournament. Um, and uh, the far, the more. <laughs> Humble warrior, true warrior, David Dutta Khan, you superstar. Over to you, Coach Ray.